Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Bearded Beanie Review. In today's episode, we're going to be basically just, I'm going to give you my review on a show that I thought, gosh, I ain't going to even lie to you. I, it's been, it came out in 2021. It's called Raised by Wolves. You can find it on HBO Max. I think it was out before, it came out in 2020, my bad. Uh, Raised by Wolves, HBO Max is where you can find it. And I watched all 10 episodes literally in the course of one night last night, as a matter of fact. And that right there alone should give you an idea of what I'm about to say about this TV series right here today to the, on this video. So I encourage you guys to, by all means, you already know, hit that like button, subscribe if you hadn't already, and go ahead and click that bell for notifications so you'll know when I upload any review or anything on the channel, period. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Raised by Wolves. Let's, we have, I'm not going to go into the actors and who they are and whatnot, but I will say, I, even though I know who they are, I will say this is some of their best work that I've seen from them, and I cannot wait till season two drops, which is soon, February 3rd. February, we looking at Elmer Ford sounding it. February 3rd, as a matter of fact, on HBO Max, season two will be dropping out. So you got some time. Like I said, I watched this in one night. That's how good it was. That's how invested I was. Synapsis of the show. Uh, I don't exactly know what, what year we're in. I don't I may I may have missed it at the beginning when it was starting off, but I know in the year 2145, that's when the earth became practically unlivable and they were they there were there were two balances of power in the world and these balances this balances were basically to sum it up simply as religious people and atheistic people simple as that religious people of course religious believe in a deity that they do not fully know exist or understand whereas the atheists do not believe in that deity and they believe that humanity is capable of controlling its own future simple as that these two become enthralled in a war that pretty much destroys the the earth and they are forced to basically seek a uh, refuge for humanity elsewhere the thing is the 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 religious side has pretty much the technology and the capability to go and do this before the uh, the atheistic side so you you, you get where this what's happening here it's kind of like a race to space amongst humanity to see who can find the next livable planet for them to live on and that's that and before the next the before the 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 you know the enemy finds his way there so uh we 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 catch up with two humanoid uh uh i'm just going to say they're androids uh mother and father who arrive on kepler 22b i believe is the name of the planet i don't know if it's been explored before they got here or not all we know is this these two humanoid androids make it there they find a place to set up space uh shop they get everything going you get mother incubated with four or six fetus fetuses and basically she's basically going to bring these fetuses to life you know carry them like a cycle like a mother sick nine months raise them and all that stuff and basically they're going to restart humanity fresh on another planet that's the whole purpose of this this series is to for humanity to get another shot at where we failed the first time, which is, I like these kind of shows because, I mean, shit, it's life imitating art. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, we are living in an era where people are suffering because they don't either, one, believe in religious, believe in a religion, or they believe so strongly in just the capability of themselves that they don't need a religion, which I understand. You got to get, you got to think. 
it's hard living in the world where people, everybody's telling you what to believe and what you should be doing. And it's hard to figure out what you should be doing. And that's always been a problem for me. That's always been a problem with the channel for a little bit because I know what y'all want to see, but some shit that y'all like, honestly, I'm just not fucking into you, you. You in Fortnite, dude, that's fine. That's your cup of tea. That's not my fucking game. I don't play that shit. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I might play games like it, but that don't, that, that's, that's battle royales and stuff like that. That's not me. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I don't like a certain movie. I don't like a certain song. We all go through that shit. Right. So yeah, it's pretty much, uh, you know, where we pick up at, like I said, we got mother and father, they colonize, they get the kids grown and whatnot. And they start experiencing the, the, just the first steps of life. Yeah, being able to be in the, there to restart humanity, how it has to go. These kids were no, were not kin. They were from different races. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, like I said, I don't know how much they knew about the planet because after so long, things start happening. I mean, the way things happen here on Earth for us, you know, let history tell it, are the pretty much the, it's pretty much the same thing that's going to be going down there. So. We move story and everything. We still, it, let me say, it's a mystery. The planet itself is a mystery. There are things laid around that give you the idea that there was something else there before us for sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's the mystery of it. You see all these bones and these different these little relics and these artifacts and stuff that you wouldn't think that you see on this planet that is weird for the far as we, the viewer, know is on livable or uninhabited by someone else right so okay how do we deal or how do we introduce conflict into something that just seems like like there's no it's nothing there like as far as we know the viewer knows it's just mother father and the six kids and whatever elements that they may come against that i'm sure that they capable of handling because we find out that the mother bot is way more advanced than the father bot. And we also get to dealing with certain elements of like, okay, you got the kids, you got your human nature, and then you got elements of androids being around humans, adapting human, you know, emotions, feelings, thoughts, and you know what I'm saying? Tendencies and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's love, empathy, envy anger you know uh, distrust you know what i'm saying it's all that shit right there it's just the the, the androids living amongst humans and whatnot and it's knowing all having all the knowledge that they have of humans trying to keep be the archive for these kids who they really don't know how to interact with i mean be, they these androids are well past being like just hey i'm a computer in a human body you know what i'm saying like it's past that these motherfuckers actually think they're actually thinking about like man i'm hurting dude i'm like i'm upset you know what i'm saying like i love my kids that's how they really treated those kids yes they were a miss was a mission to protect them you did they made that clear but they love those kids, you know what I'm saying? And they were upset and let down and betrayed and hurt by those kids. And those was the feelings that they actually processed and understood how to, or didn't understand how to handle. I mean, I'd like to sit here and spoil this whole show for you a little bit. I'm trying not to do it by explaining the shit that I'm saying. I, otherwise, other, I mean, it's a very good show, man. And if season two is about to start and I hate being a, the guy that watches the season week after week, I hate waiting. And I feel like that's what I'm going to do with season two. But you know what? I didn't give this show a chance at first when it came out. I saw it and I just like, man, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? But going back and watching it now, like I tend to always do, I'll always go and watch some shit later. And I went back and I watched this one and I was, pleasantly surprised i'm glad i watched it i'm glad i watched it i'm invested and i'm recommending that you go and give it a shot as well it's called raised by wolves don't don't not you know 
you may not be your cup of tea, like I said before, but hey, whatever, man. Raised by Wolves, HBO Max. If you, you got it, you got to get access to it. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon as well, too. But it's it definitely worth the watch. If I had to say, it's from, and then it's from Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott is one of them directors who don't fail. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't gonna miss, you, you ain't gonna miss going to check this one out for sure. With that being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. Again, subscribe to the channel if you had that bell for notifications. You know what I'm saying? Share this with the people, and yeah, go check out Raised by Wolves, man. And I, I will be keeping my. I started watching and for, I started watching the Gilded Age too. I dude, I told you I'll watch anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you got any suggestions or whatnot, you know what I'm saying. Let me know. I will be doing a review of episode four of no episode five of Peacemaker. That's gonna be coming up here soon. We got some things to talk about over there. And how I'm really enjoying that show. And I can't wait to do a season to, to a full season review. So y'all stay tuned for that. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll up out of here. That's been the video for Raised by Wolves. I do recommend you go see it. If I had to give it a rating, I'd go ahead and give it a 4.9 out of 5. Some things just did hit them. Some things were just like, eh, didn't need to do that. but Or I didn't need to see that or whatever. You know how it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not everything is going to be perfect. This one was near perfect, and that was good enough, guys. So y'all take it easy. Have a good one. It's your man, Beanie. I'm out. Peace. Always do that shit. <laughs>